George, what has stuck out to you in the past few minutes here in this exhibition matchup? Well, Illinois has pulled away in the second half. Really what allowed Quincy to get close into this game was answering Illinois early by making the threes when the Illini drove them to the outside. Same strategy here for Illinois, but the Hawks just haven't been able to capitalize on those threes. And so that's allowed Illinois to pull away a 20 to five run now here in the last seven or eight minutes or so to pull away and perhaps solidify this game. That being said, for the Hawks, however, you've seen an increased intensity from them over the last couple of minutes, trying to make some shots, trying to go quickly, Illinois equaling that. And just going forward for Illinois, that's a huge sight for them to see. Their three-point game starting to come alive. Terrence Shannon Jr. sinks the first of his free throws. Terrence Shannon Jr. a season ago at Texas Tech averaged 10.4 points per game, 2.6 rebounds and two assists, and a career best 38% from three. And on defense, as we see Illinois playing the press here, he's used to playing in a system like this. Texas Tech, Chris Beard, Mark Adams, they employed that same sort of defense first mentality. It's stalwart defense that now Brad Underwood employs here at Illinois. So he's used to playing in this system. No surprise to see him up on the press early. Now Hardman with a drive. And that is a charge. It will be the Illini's ball. Right on cue, Terrence Shannon with a nice defensive play right there. Just a great overall player, Terrence Shannon Jr. I spoke to Brad Underwood er earlier about him. I asked him, what does Terrence Shannon Jr. bring to the team? And he said versatility. He said, it's a guy that can run the floor, he can shoot, he can dunk. He can pretty much do a little bit of everything. And he also brings some veteran experience. I mean, he took Texas Tech several rounds deep in the NCAA tournament. Into a, a final years four, I believe, uh, as well. And you know, this is a team in Illinois that got younger with all the freshmen they brought and all the seniors they lost, yet they've been able to get more experienced with these ads of Danger, Meyer, both with a championship under their belt at Baylor last year. And as you mentioned, a final four for Texas Tech, Terrence Shannon on that squad. And so Brad Underwood hoping with these new additions that he'll be able to fix something that has plagued his team over the last two years, that being an inability to close out in March. Just saw Connor Davis sink a three as Epps loses the handle, it was last touched by Davis. And on the point of Shannon too, Brad Underwood is impressed with its leadership early and the effect it's having on the younger guys in the backcourt. Sky Clark, Sincere Harris, all spoke very well of Shannon and the spark he's provided, how he's helped them early in these off-season practices. And so for a team that has again got younger, most notably in the backcourt, that's a big sight to see. 